Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we're going to be having a look at a topic that we've actually covered in the past, and that's SSD caching. Taking a small high-speed SSD and using it to accelerate a large, slow hard drive. And let's face it, compared to SSDs, all hard drives are slow. We've looked at Intel SRT so far, but we've actually got a new solution that I want to talk about today, and that is the OCZ Synapse Caching SSD. This SSD is just for caching, it's not intended to be used separately, and really, quite frankly, if you're buying a smaller SSD, do you really want to manage which files and applications are installed on it manually, or do you want to let it do it automatically? So let's see which solution performs better, and we're going to talk a little bit more about how SSD caching works. <laughs> So what exactly is caching and how does it work? You know what, I'm actually going to go back to a very basic example and that is the librarian example. So if you need to get information from a library, the quickest is when the librarian has it on their person. It happens to be sitting there. Well, great. So that's, let's say that's your CPU cache. Okay, so that's the storage that's on your CPU. Then let's say it's on the table next to the librarian. Let's call that your RAM. Then let's say it's actually in the archive. So the librarian has to get up off the desk, walk into the back, find the book, bring it back to you. That's your hard drive. What we're doing by using an SSD as a cache is we are actually putting a little shelf between the library in the back and the desk. So we are able to much more quickly get the most frequently used books or information that we can't store in the cache on the CPU and we can't store in the memory. We are doing this automatically because you can take that whole library and you can put it on an SSD, but because the capacity is so much lower, you're going to have to have a much smaller library. That's where caching comes in. We get the best of both worlds. We get that huge library in the back and we get quick access to the information that we need most often. There are three main solutions in the market right now for caching. There's the Momentus XT, which we've covered in the past. This is what I would consider to be a balanced approach. It's got a mere 8 gig SSD built in. It has a 750 gig hard drive, and it's in a nice small form factor so that you can use it in a notebook very easily. It's kind of a balanced, moderated approach to the performance and capacity issue. Now, if we want to go for more like an ultimate solution, this machine right here is capable of using Intel SRT, that is Smart Response Technology. The reason it's capable of it is because it uses a Z68 chipset. Now, other Intel chipsets would in theory be fully capable of running this technology, but Intel has locked it down at this time to the Z68. Now, what that means is you are limiting your options in terms of what kind of a computer you want to use. If you want a 990FX with an AMD chip, well, you can't use SRT. It's an Intel technology, duh. But even if you want an X79, that is Intel's high-end platform, you still can't use Intel SRT. The advantage of SRT is you can use whatever SSD you want for the cache. So that means you could use whatever brand, whatever capacity, up to 64 gigs. However, that's a bit of a, a, um, a double-edged sword because you can use whatever you want, but the risk is you might use something wrong. You might use an SSD that doesn't have very good durability, which could cause all of your data to become corrupt if your SSD dies during operation. SSDs have a limited number of write cycles that they're capable of, which is where the OCZ Synapse cache comes in. So the Synapse drive says 64 gigs on the front of it, but what they've actually done is they've taken half of that capacity and they've set it aside as spare area. What that means is even though we're using MLC cache versus the SLC cache that Seagate uses, we've got literally double the write potential built into this drive from the start because OCZ assumes you're going to be using it an awful lot if it's automatically changing the data according to your usage patterns. The other benefit of the Synapse is you can use it on any platform you want regardless of the CPU maker and the chipset model. Before we talk about the results, let's look at our test setup. In order to maintain consistency between the two setups, that is the OCZ Dataplex software and Intel SRT, we use the same Z68 board and the same Synapse Cache SSD for both solutions. They're both software-based solutions, so the hardware we're using is identical. We're just testing which one of them is going to work better if the hardware was the same. Now, in terms of the results, oh, actually, in terms of the setup, with Intel, you have to use their rapid storage technology application. It's not that hard to set up compared to how it used to be, but you do have to configure your controller in RAID mode, and there are a couple of steps. With the Dataplex software, all we had to do was press install, enter the key that's on the back of the drive, and then it only comes with this single executable that just says status enabled, your target drive, and your cache drive. So it's very, very lightweight, and personally, I prefer that to a bloated configuration application. Now let's look at the results. 
This one right here is our individual hard drive. Now, when we run, this is SRT up here on the top, and this is Dataplex down here on the bottom. When we do our first run, what was interesting to me is that Dataplex is the only one that shows a performance increase right on the first run, which to me means that it's actually learning slightly faster than the SRT solution. Now, when we do our second run, both of them are quite similar, although the Synapse Dataplex solution once again edges out Intel SRT, but it's not quite as significant this time as it was on the first run. So in conclusion, it's gonna come down to what you want. If you wanna be stuck down to a single platform, right now just Z68 supports SRT, then SRT is fine. That also gives you the flexibility of different SSDs. However, if you wanna be able to move around from platform to platform easily, the OCZ Synapse with the Dataplex software at this time is a very good solution as well. So thank you for checking out this episode on the OCZ Synapse and the Dataplex software and SSD caching in general, I guess. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more reviews and videos from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.